Hello everyone. Welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. We'll be continuing the interest calculation part which we have done in the last training session. In the last session we have completed the interest calculation on general ledger accounting or you can say the interest calculation on GL balances if any of the amount is left so how interest is calculated on the GL balances we have been taken up. Now today we will be doing the interest calculation on customer arrears. Arrears refers to the payment from customers which have not been made yet. However the due date has been crossed yet the payment has not been received and in those scenarios the system calculate interest on the customer unpaid amount or overdue amount as per the prescribed percentage which has been dealt uh, as per the agreement between the customer and the organization. So we'll see how interest is calculated in this particular part of the topic. So we can see interest can be calculated on customer and vendor accounts in two ways. One account balance interest calculation and second is calculation of interest on arrears. So what we will be doing today is interest calculation of interest on arrears which is more practically used in any organization. So moving on to the configuration steps. First we will be defining a payment terms that is defining the terms of payment. Then we'll move to define interest calculation indicators or types. Third will be make interest indicator available for interest run program. Then we'll move to create reference interest rate. Define time dependent terms and interest calculation account assignment. As we have done the interest calculation on GL balances, so this would be pretty simple to understand how interest is calculated on the customer areas. So moving on to the first configuration step that is defining terms of payment. The terms of payment is very important while going for interest calculation. In this step, we can define the rules with which the system can determine the required terms of payment automatically. Just as a practical scenario, if the organization has an agreement with one of the customer that the payment terms will be 30 days, that means we can create the payment terms in the system for 30 days and the system will automatically calculate the payment term and it will decide what is the due date and when is the invoice is overdue. And once the invoice is overdue, the system will start calculating the interest on that particular invoice at a predefined percentage which we will be defining in the configuration part. So the rules are stored under a four character key and once the terms of payment are defined we assign that payment term in the customer master records via this four character key. The key and terms determined with it are proposed when entering a document related to a customer account. The most useful term of payment have been already been set in the standard system. So let's see few of the payment terms. The transaction code for that is OBB8. So if you move on to the screen OBB8 enter you can see these are the different payment terms on your screen and these are the payment terms which are provided by the standard SAP by default into this software. So you can see over here that the payment term 001 is a simple payment term where once the invoice is booked or any of the document is 
posted the particular invoice becomes immediately pay due for payment or for receiving the payment whereas the other payment term 0002 or 0003 has certain different conditions with the payment terms it says that if the payment is made within 30 days the 2% cash discount will be provided if it is made within 45 days it is due if it is within 40 days 3% of the cash discount will be paid so similarly there could be different types of payment terms which can be taken up into the SAP system so these are the different payment terms which you should be very much clear with and even you can create your own payment terms once you are clear with how these standard payment terms works so this is how you will be using this particular payment term so these are the different payment terms available in the system and we will be using these payment terms only for configuring the system in a while so this is about the terms of payment now moving to the next configuration step is defining the interest calculation indicator here we create the interest indicator and determine whether they are to be used for item interest calculation or account based interest calculation the master record of an account must contain an interest indicator so that it is taken into consideration during the interest calculation so let's move on to this particular part OB46 even this part we have done when we did the interest calculation on the general ledger balances so moving to the transaction OB46 so here now we will be creating a interest indicator with the interest indicator type as P as we have discussed that the balance interest calculation is used for GL balances and the item interest calculation is used for customers or vendors so what we can do is we can create a new entry over here on the screen let's take that entry name as 3030 and we will define a name over here to it and it could be item interest AR that is that is the interest calculation on the customers that is AR part accounts receivable and on this side we will be selecting the interest calculation type so as we have already discussed that SU is used for balance interest calculation for GL balances Z is a customized one which will we will not be using and P is the one which we will be using that is item interest calculation and which is used for calculating interest on customers and vendors so that is what we have selected P over here so once we have taken these now we can save the screen and our interest calculation indicator has been defined and you can see it has been taken up with the request number as well so once we are done with this second step of configuration now we can move to the third step and the third step says make interest indicator available for interest run program so in this you can make general specifications for each interest indicator for calculation of interest on arrears to do this one has to specify for the selection of the items as well as for calculating the interest here you can make further specifications as to the subsequent processing of interest the output control and for posting so moving on to this particular step the transaction code is OB82 so we can move on to the transaction code or even if you want you can move with the SPRO as well so let's move with the path so first we'll go to the SPRO enter then we'll move to the SAP reference IMG 
and now we can check the path it is financial accounting then account receivable and accounts payable and in that there is interest business transaction so let's move up over here as a financial accounting new then to the account receivable and payable and in that business transactions and then we will move to the interest calculation and interest calculation will be moving to interest calculation global setting and then the prepare interest on error calculation so the path is simple we move to the accounts receivable and accounts payable then to the business transactions then to interest calculation and in interest calculation it is interest calculation global settings and then to prepare interest on arrears calculations so now we can execute this part over here so once we have executed you can see there are three different indicators already in the system now we'll be creating one more indicator for our own calculation and for that we'll be moving to the new entries so once we move to the new entries over here on the screen we need to define the interest calculator calculation indicator so that will be taking 30 as we have defined 30 in the previous step then we need to select the tab over here open and cleared items all open items and cleared items after due date including the credit memos and down payment offsetting entries and other related items also if we go for open item and items cleared with a payment the system calculate interest on open items and the cleared items with the payment only not by any credit memo or credit or the down payment so the one which we have to take away here is open item and all credit clear items once we have taken that we will be taking the calendar type over here so the calendar type you can search the list the calendar type in this case again will be G as we had the same on the GL account now we'll move to the next if you want you can have a tolerance days if you want to give an extra credit of number of days or a grace period of days to the customer you can define the tolerance days over here in that case whenever the invoice is due the system will give three days extra to the customer as a benefit so as to make the payment however if you don't want you can leave this blank so it's up to you whether you want to take this part or whether you don't want to maintain it over here so that is what we will be defining nothing else is required in this particular configuration step so once we have done this now we can save the screen over here and once we save our interest on area calculation has been created with the indicator 3030 for all the open and cleared items now moving back to the now moving to the next con uh, the configuration step that is create reference interest rate so moving to the reference interest rate here we define the reference interest rate by entering a key and a numeric name or maybe it could be a, a alphanumeric name as well so moving on to the transaction code or even we can move with the path so the path is interest calculation and in interest calculation there is further interest calculation option so we'll expand that path and in this you can see over here 
that there is a field step define reference interest rates so we need to execute this part now once we execute in this we need to maintain the new entries for our own reference interest rate so the reference interest rate key will be 3030 we can put over here the long text suppose I want the interest to be calculated is 18% in case it is beyond the due date so it will be the description has been taken up as 18% item interest even if you want you can copy the same to the description as well select and copy it and then the date the date means from which date you want the interest calculations to be to be applicable suppose I want it to be applicable from again the start of the fiscal year that is 1st of April 2014 and over here we can take the currency that is USD so once we have taken these all things we can save the screen and our reference interest rate is defined so it asks you to save the customization with the transaction with the request number also known as TR that is transfer request so you can click and it will be saved in it so this is what we have created the reference over here you can see that the reference interest rate has been defined on your screen now we can go back to the SAP IMG path and now we can move to the next configuration step and that is time dependent terms so the time dependent terms here means any payment made before the due date the system indicates the interest on such items if you select this checkbox which we'll be just looking off you may give the payment term also for calculation of interest if required to be taken for the interest calculation so here we'll be specifying how the system determines an interest rate for each interest indicator you can make these settings based on the currency and a validity date so let's see the same on the screen so the path is again account receivable and accounts payable then to the business transactions and in business transactions we need to go to the interest calculation and in interest calculation further step is interest calculation and in interest calculation you can see the step define time based terms so we need to execute this time based terms over this and you can see now the screen is in front of you and now to define our own time dependent interest terms we need to go to the new entries this is the same way as we have created the time dependent terms in the interest calculation for GL balances now we will be moving to the new entries and in new entries we'll be taking the interest in calculation indicator now the interest indicator will be the same which we have defined that is 3030 the in currency key will be USD now the effective date will be from the beginning of the current fiscal year and the sequence will be 1 1 will be for you can see the terms over here now so the terms in this case which we will be using is area interest do not use balance interest balance interest was been used when we did the GL balances but while calculating interest on customers we have to take the area ca interest calculation so one sequence can be taken for debiting the interest so that is what has been taken over here and now moving to the next you can also define your premium over here premium refers to the rate of interest that will be chargeable so suppose I want the interest to be chargeable is 18 percent so you can take 18 enter on the screen 
and it will take 18% automatically of its own. So we have taken the interest calculation indicator, then the currency, then we have defined the effective date from which this particular interest calculation indicator will be effective and we have taken the sequence as 1 for debit interest and then we have taken the premium over here. The premium refers to the interest which will be charged on the areas. Now we can save this screen. So this particular we have created is for the debit interest. Now similarly we have to create for the credit interest as well. So for that we can move back. Again we need to go back. And now we can select this 30 and even we can copy this over here. Copy as. After copying as we can just need to change the sequence over here. So once we change the sequence to 2 now you can go to this list and you can also change your term. The term will change now to credit control area interest calculation. So this is what we have taken and now we can enter on the screen because whenever we copy we first need to enter off at the end and then only you will find this to save option will come to you. So enter on the screen and now you can see the number of entries has been copied and we can move and we can save the screen and your customization for the interest time dependent interest terms is been completed. So once we have completed with the interest terms for time dependent part now we can move to the next configuration step and that is interest calculation account assignment. Now in the interest calculation account assignment we assign the GL account with the account assignment as we did in the interest calculation on the GL balances. So for that we need to go to the configuration step and the configuration step over here now is accounts and payable then business transactions and then the interest calculation. So there is the business transaction and then there is the interest calculation and in interest calculation we need to go to interest posting and then AR calculation of interest on area. So in interest calculation now we can find the interest posting here. We can expand this part and then you can find the first step that is AR calculation of interest on area. So we need to execute this step now. So once we execute this step now you can see this screen the application is 0002. So on the screen the rules have been defined for debiting or crediting the interest calculation. So over here you can find the predefined values of account determination in this screen for applications which use the account determination for, for predefined business transactions. These business transactions are represented by predefined keys which you can see over here the business transaction. This is what is termed as the account determination key value and on the basis of this key then the debit and credit rules are defined. So via these keys these programs then determine the posting keys as below on your screen 01 and 5050. So 01 is used for the customer debiting the customer and the 5050 GL is used for crediting the GL account. So now we have checked with the transaction now we can go to the accounts on your header. So we need to click on to this accounts. So once we click on to the accounts it asks you the chart of account. So we'll first need to put the chart of account that is 1000 enter. So it takes you to the next screen now and in this screen you need to specify the account symbol. 
So the account symbol which we will be taking on for this particular part is 0001 that will be for interest received and the another one which we will be needing is for the customer as we are doing it for the customer interest calculation so for that we need to go to you can see customer posting so we'll be taking customer posting as a second symbol so both the symbol the currency will be same that is the company code currency USD and then we can move to the GL account and once we come up to the GL account we need to assign the GL we need to maintain the GL account against the account symbol 001 for interest received so in 0001 the GL which will be assigning over here will be interest received account whereas against the 1000 GL we can assign the customer GL so now we can move and we can check the GL account because in this screen you cannot search the list of GL the system doesn't provide you so we need to go to a second screen with this screen over here create new session so now in this we need to go to FS00 and we have to look for the GL for interest received account so is there any interest received account in it no there is no account it should be with the digit starting with 3 3 is the part of income so it is not there we need to create a GL for interest received so we can select the number this is the last GL which has been created so we'll be creating the next GL after this that is 300004 we need to go to new entries that is create option over here so once we go to create now we need to select the account group and the account group will be income because interest received is a part of income and that will be a part of profit and loss statement account then we can define the short text interest receipt and in the long text you can define the whole description then we can move to the next that is control data in control data we need to select the line item display and once I have taken the line item display we can move to the next that is create bank interest and in this we will be taking the filled status group that will be the revenue account that is G029 so it is what we have selected so once we have taken this now we can save the option over here and the GL account will be saved so this is now the GL has been created so this is the GL which is the interest received part which we will be assigning on to the symbol 0001 and now moving to the second symbol that is 1000 here we need to assign the GL which is related to the customer reconciliation account so we'll check the GL again for the customer part so let's again expand the list of all the GL account and after that we'll search for a customer reconciliation account for which we need to assign the interest so the GL account we will be taking is finance customers account so we can take this 100004 that is been assigned over here similarly if you want to have other customer reconciliation account as well like 10003 that is for service customer reconciliation 100004 is for finance customer you can even assign the same so you can take one more same symbol over here 
sorry the symbol the sim account symbol can be one at a time so against the 1000 we have assigned the gl 100004 so once we have assigned the gl account in this screen now we can save this screen and our account determination that is assignment of account with the interest indicator has been done so you can see the changes have been made now we can move back to the img screen so we have done with the interest calculation account assignment now moving to the next is the unit testing but before the unit testing there is one thing that is we can assign the form as well so for assigning the form so that we can have the print or the reports for the interest part can also be done so for assigning the form we need to go to the transaction code OB84 enter so via this T code with the help of this T code we can assign the form to it so that we can take the print as well so you can see there are number of forms already been assigned as a standard form these are forms provided by the SAP so we can go to this new entries over here now and we need to take the interest indicator that is 3030 we need to take the company code that is 1200 and now we need to select the form name so the form name is F underscore D U Z I underscore 01 enter so you can see the entry has been taken so we have assigned the form to it as well so once we have assigned the form we can save the screen now and the form has been assigned to it and that has also been saved to the request so this is the part of your configuration step for interest calculation on customer areas so now we'll move to the next step and that is the unit testing part so once the configuration has been done we'll be doing the unit testing so as to check that whatever the customization is done are okay or not so for that the unit testing part consists of first we'll assign the interest indicator to the customer master account so without assigning the customer the indicator to the customer master you cannot calculate the interest so moving to the next assigning it to the customer master so let's move to the transaction slash n fd02 for change customer where we can do the changes so we can select the customer with the list of customers in the company code enter so we can take this customer over here now double click on it it has been selected then continue so it takes you to the next part in this we need to go to the company code data and in company code data in the account management part you will find the interest indicator that is the tab for itself interest calculation and in this part we will be assigning the interest indicator that we have created just a while back that is you can see with the F4 on it so that the list of indicators can be displayed to you so over here you can see the 30 that is item interest AR has been defined and this is the indicator which we will be using for calculating the interest on the areas so we'll be selecting this indicator on the screen once this indicator is selected we can save the customer master and the interest indicator will also be assigned to it so the changes have been made now we can move to the next transaction code and you can cross close this over here with the cross part so the next transaction code is to post a customer invoice 
so that until we make an invoice how the interest will be calculated so we'll be creating an invoice in the system now with the transaction FB7070 enter and now we'll be taking the customer account here we can select the customer with the list of customers so we have selected the customer here now we can go for the invoice date so let's take an older invoice date of the last month so let's take it for 15 10 2014 that is 15th of October so that we can have certain time so that we can do the interest calculation the message is over here that the down payment exists no issues enter <coughs> so we can take the reference number as a invoice number we have taken now we can take the GL account on the screen so we can search for the GL account so for customer invoice we can take the sales GL over here now continue so we can take the sales GL in this part that is over here now 300000 and we can take an invoice amount over here suppose I take the invoice amount to be ten thousand dollars next we need to take is the business place sorry business area which is a mandatory part and now we can move to assign the amount on this that is also ten thousand now once we have done these things enter on the screen again and now we can move to the payment part so as to assign the payment terms so we can assign the payment terms on this screen now on this particular tab you can see payment terms so we can go for searching the payment term options there are a couple of options which you will find so you can take the payment term over here now as suppose I take it as 002 that is within 14 days 3% of cash discount within 30 days 2% of cash discount and within 45 days due net net so that is what one part we can take so let's take this particular payment term on the screen and better we change the date also to 1st of October let's make it slight more older so that it will be easier for us to calculate okay so now moving on we can simulate the document enter and you can see now the document has been simulated in front of you on the screen and we can save this screen now so once the screen is saved a document number is generated as you can see on your footnote part of the screen that the document number is generated and if you click on that it will show you the details on the new screen on this on this particular part so this is the screen which has been generated and even if you want you can see the customer ledger account as well for the same and for that we need to go to the transaction slash in FBL 5N I hope you remember that and you, if you have done the AR module in SAP so enter so we can execute this report and you can see that the document which we have just passed is this one of 15 of October and now we can as we have checked this particular invoice now we'll move back and we'll calculate the interest on error on this particular part so for moving up to the next the next transaction code is f.2c and f.24 there are two different transaction codes one is for without posting and one is for with posting so we can first use the transaction f.2c so that f.2c enter
so over here we need to select the customer account then the company code also so we can select the customer enter so this is the customer we can select so the customer has been selected now we need to put the calculation period over here for which period we want to run the calculation interest on error so we'll be running it for the November 1st till 30th of November then we need to take the interest indicator as well so the interest indicator you can select from the list of different interest indicators so this is the 3030 which we have defined and which we will be using it here you can also take the reconciliation account for which reconciliation account you want to calculate the interest so we'll select this indicator the reconciliation account from the list of the GL account so the one which we will be taking now is F that is finance customer account 100004 this is the one in which we have just posted an invoice so once we have taken now we have selected the create form over here then we need to select the print form and in print form we need to give the printer name so the printer name will be LP01 and then we can take the date of issue as well so the date of issue can be taken up as 1st of December and then moving further we can execute this part now so once we execute this particular calculate interest on area now it asks you for the printer output device so the printer device will be assigning is LP01 and then we can move on to the print preview part so once we click onto the print preview so as we clicked onto the print preview you can see now the print format which shows you the print preview that what is the interest what are the different documents when it is due what is the amount of the document the total amount of the document over here has been the rate of interest has been reflected to you 18 percent so if you remember when we created the indicator 3030 the interest rate we defined was 18 percent so that is what has been calculated on these three different invoices which has been overdue and the interest calculated on these are over here as $230.45 if you move down further on the screen so these are the details in front of you which has been displayed to you however you if you want you can change the layout of your the sprint format this is a standard provided a script by the SAP and these can be changed as per the requirement by the organization which can be done with the help of a technical consultant and it can be designed as per the requirement of the organization so this is how we have seen that the preview has been looked so this is the particular part that is f.2c and this part shows you the calculation of interest on area without posting to the system so now we can go back for this part and then we can move to the next calculation of interest that is f.24 so moving to the f.24 transaction enter so again over here we need to take the company code and we have to take the customer for which we want to execute the interest on area then we need to select the calculation period so I am been calculating this for the month of November so that is what has been taken and we need to take the interest indicator again as we did in the 4f.2c report so the interest indicator is 3030 has been taken moving down 
then we need to take the print form again that is LP01 you can change the date of issue or even if you want you can leave it as it is that's not a problem and if you want further things you can calculate the things from these things over here as well if if you want these things to be reflected on the screen print interest rate table or certain of these things can be taken but right now it is not been required so we will not be taking it so once we have taken these all fields now we can move on to execute over here so once we execute it asks you for the output device for print so the output device again will be LP01 always and now we can move on to print preview before printing the document so we can click on to the print preview now and once you have clicked on to the print preview you can see this print preview on your screen here is the name of the customer the address of the customer the date on which we have processed the interest on error calculation this is the GL this is the customer code which has been assigned over here and there is no invoice number as on the document that's why it's not been reflected and if you move down further you can see on this screen it gives you whole detail about that dear sir and madam we confirm the receipt of your payment from 1st 11 to 30th of 11 that is for the whole month of November and write to inform you that we have charged your account with interest on error in the sum of $175.75 due to late settlement of the invoice listed below. So under your screen you will find a table for all the invoices which has been paid or been settled late by the customer and accordingly the interest has been calculated. So this is what interest on customer error is all about. So now this is the preview which has been reflected to you for the interest calculated on the different documents which are overdue for the customer settlement. Now to post this interest into the customer account we need to go to the transaction slash n sm35 because whenever we execute this report f.24 then a new a, a batch has been created and a batch is something which is created at the background and which need to be executed so that that particular interest document has to be generated in the SAP system. So the transaction is SM35 as we did in the interest on GL balance as well. Enter. So you can see over here now that So we need to execute the program on the screen that is RFDUZIOO. This is the program which is always generated when interest on calculation for customer errors are executed. So we need to select this session over here and now we need to execute this session. So once we move to execute the session over here on the screen the request cannot be processed probably it has already been processed so we need to process this particular session while going through the process and your interest will be calculated and will be posted onto the customer account so the batch has not been successfully been created as we have checked so let's move on and create the batch once again so we'll execute the transaction f.24 once again. We'll take the customer. We'll take the company code. Probably we have missed uh, something out of it because of which the batch is not created. So we have taken the customer company code. Then we have selected the period for which the interest will be settlement will be done. The interest indicator is taken 30. The reconciliation account we have taken now we'll select the create form over here and then we'll select the print form in print form we need to assign the lp01 then moving down we need to select the maintain master record and we also have to select the post interest settlement probably this was the part we have missed post interest settlement 
Until you select the post interest settlement, the system will not create a batch and if the batch is not created, you will not be able to process the batch and the interest will not be posted into the financial ledgers. So once we have selected these fields, now we can move on and we can execute this option again. So once we have executed, it asks you for the output device. So we have selected the output device LP01 and the rest of the things will remain as it is. You don't have to change anything. So now we can move to the print preview. So once we have clicked on the print preview, again the system shows you the print preview part where it shows you the name of the customer address, the date on which it has been processed, the customer code has been reflected to you and then on the below part the different document numbers, the document date and the amount due on and payment date and if there is any overdue period the system will calculate interest. So the interest rate has been reflected to you on the screen and also the interest amount and the interest to be paid is $175.71. So this is what been processed by the system. Now we need to go back. So once we go back, you can see over here on the screen, the batch input session RFDUZI00 created. So you must remember this particular session part because this is the one which you need to execute when we move on to the batch input session. So now moving to the SM35 so as to execute the batch where we can find the batch created and that particular batch until being processed will not give the financial impacts. So SM35 enter. So as we moved on to the screen you can see over here this is a new session being created and the symbol is new else the rest of them are already created and used. So we need to select this session over here and once we have selected we need to go to process. In that we need to select display errors so that in case there is any kind of an error the system will show you and then we need to process it. So once we processed you can see the message has been generated processing of batch input session is completed. So whenever you find this message reflected on your screen that means that your batch has been successfully been completed and your financial impacts have been taken on. So if you want to see the batch overview you can click on to the overview and you can see now the batch has been processed as well. So now we can close this. Batch. So this is how you need to process your interest calculation with customer. So few of these steps been left in the unit testing like processing of batch which we did with the transaction code SM35 and then you can have the GL line item display with which you can check the balances that is FBL3N and similarly you can check with the customer ledger account as well. The transaction code for that is FBL5N. So this is it. We have done with the interest calculation on customer account as well and we have completed with the interest calculation as a whole and now we will be meeting up in the next training session with a new topic. Till then, thank you.